Can I trust my emotions? Is it the heat of the moment? Cause my heart just exploded when I saw your face. Cause your eyes held me captive. Ooh, I ain't asking for ransom. And I'm still not reacting. What am I waiting for? What up YouTube? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm doing things a little bit differently today because as you can also see, I have one eye done on my face. Well, this was from some advice from some friends. It was also from, let me try something out with this new palette first and then we'll go from there. If I like it, I'll recreate the other eye on camera. If I don't, then I'll take it off and start over. So just for the sake of saving time, for the sake of just playing without being under the pressure of being on the camera and trying something new. As you guys probably already know, I'm using the Blue Blood Palette from Jeffree Star that I just recently got. I think it's gorgeous. I will show it to you here, but I will also insert some pictures and some swatches for you just so that you can get it up close and personal of the actual colors and how they swatch. And I think I came out with a beautiful spotlight cut crease halo eye. And it's green and blue and sparkly and frosty and gorgeous. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. But before we get into the business of recreating this eye look, please subscribe to my channel, hang around, and become part of this really cool community that is being built here at my channel. Also, if you enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. And yeah. So now that we've got the business out of the way, let's get into recreating this eye for you. I'm going to tell you what I'm using. I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing. This kind of eye is a lot of back and forth, a lot of blending, so I'm going to be doing a lot of fast forwarding so this isn't a long video. That's the other reason for doing the one eye off camera because it saves time for you. You get to see me just doing one eye and it makes for easier editing for me. So if you would like to see how I created this beautiful spotlight cut crease with the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette, then please keep watching. Okay guys, let's just get right after it. I really wanted to use the kind of greenish teal colors. I know a lot of people are using the blues. There's not a lot of purple. Um, I know some people have tried to do some everyday looks, which I may do that also. But for now, I wanted teal and green and use the blue to accent that and I wanted to use that really beautiful frosty color. So as I go through the editing I'll show you what I'm using, I'll show you the brush and we'll go from there. Alright, I started off with some P. Louise base and a flat concealer brush. I already have my brow on. I also never do my face last so this is all kind of backwards and weird for me. but. You do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna use this flat concealer brush, the P. Louise base in Rumor 2, Rumor 02. I'm gonna use this to carve out my brow and to go ahead and prep my eye for eyeshadow. I'm gonna leave it unset because that helps with the vibrancy of the color. I'm going to start off just kind of setting my brow bone area with the shade Wealthy and this Tarte shader brush. Next I'm going to go into the shade I'm Cold right here with a Morphe M511. It's a ginormous fluffy brush. Just to kind of get a base transition color down, I'm just going to go from inner corner to outer corner and I'll show you how I do that. Alright, next I want to really build up the teal color so I'm going to go in with flourishing right here and a Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm 
I'm going to kind of stamp it into the shape that I want and then I'll go back and blend it. Guys, I just realized that I didn't have one of my shadow or my soft boxes on. So if the lighting looks wonky in the first part of this, I'm so sorry. Alright, and once I have the intensity that I want, I'll go back with the previous brush with some I'm cold on it and just go over the edges of that. Smooth out that line. And you'll notice in between each step I'll go in with a, another blender. I just kept all the brushes kind of in order of how I use them. And so you can see they already have color on them. But anyway, so now once I did this part, I wanted to give a little bit of blue and some more intensity and depth. And so I went into Deceased right here. And it is a shimmer or a satin color, but it's good to add a little bit of depth and a little bit of intensity. Um, I'm going to use the same brush. I didn't even clean it off actually, I just used the other side to go ahead and kind of do the same thing, stamp that in there, but I'll just kind of go a little bit lower and deeper into the crease. Alright, again I'm going to take the previous brush that I used to uh, blend out the flourishing and use that to go along the edges and blend this out. If I need it to be, if I take any of the color away by blending, I'll go back. and add some more. Alright, I wanted to add even more depth and more blue. And so there's two really dark colors here which are Cremated and Undertaker. This one is more blue. This one is a more of a tealish gray. So I went for the, the tealish gray Cremated because I didn't want to go completely blue with this. I really wanted it to stick to basically green. So I thought maybe this would be a good way to deepen out the outer crease and just go even lower. I'm just doing a color gradient in effect. This is a Morphe M507, my favorite outer crease little tiny blender that places color and blends it out at the same time and I love that. So I'm keeping this real tight in the crease and outer, outer V. I really like the way that this color stayed looking like a really deep teal. So I'm going to go in with the previous brushes and blend this out. Alright, it was the tealish color that I have right here that I really wanted above the halo cut crease and so it doesn't really matter what that looks like. It's the beginning of bringing in the spotlight is why I wanted that darker color on there. Now I'm going to take my Jouer concealer and go ahead and conceal under my eye and then I'm going to go in and go ahead and do the bottom lash line before I do the cut crease part. Actually, I first forgot something. So I'm going to go backwards. Rewind. Rewind. I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'll do that part over. But I'm going to take a makeup wipe and clean out my inner corner. And even though there wasn't a lot of fallout, and I'm going to use this to make a sharp line here. I'll make sure that's even. Looking snazzy. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the UA and use that to further clean up the under eye so I can go ahead and do my bottom lash line. Thinking about it, you know, like what would have happened if I turn around? 
Not sure I'm loving the way my under eye looks, but we gotta roll with it. I'm gonna set with some Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I'm gonna leave just a little bit there so that it might catch any fallout if there is any, which I have not had much, which is awesome. I am so not used to doing my face first. And my neighbor's gonna mow. Every neighbor's gonna mow right now, so hopefully the background music will drown it all out for you guys. I'm gonna take my Morphe E36, go into the blue color first, which is Deceased, and put it really tightly up by my lash, lower lash line. I'm gonna go about two thirds of the way in. I think I took a little bit too much off here. There we go. I want those to connect a little bit. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with the E25 and Flourishing. And start adding that color to just below the blue color. And then finally with a Morphe M513, I'm going to go into, <laughs> I'm cold, and just really bring that down and smoke that out. And connect those two lines right there. Okay, it is time to cut the crease. This is my probably second or third time doing a spotlight cut crease. I hope you can see how beautiful this is. It really just doesn't, the camera just doesn't do it justice. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Morphe flat concealer brush. I'm going to clean it off and make it as sharp of a point as I can so that it is easy for me. I'm going to put a pretty good amount of P. Louise base on my hand so that I have a lot to draw from about that much and I'll add some if I need to. But I'm going to get both sides of the brush coated with the base and I'm going to try to do it symmetrically. Let's see if I can accomplish that. So I'm going to just kind of stamp right in the middle of my eye right there above my natural crease. I always look straight ahead to see if that's going to show above because obviously with the sp spotlight cut crease you want it to show above your crease especially if you're a hooded eye gal. Like that. I think I may have gone up a little bit higher and that will drive me insane. Let me take a look in my mirror here. Yep. I may have to do a little tweaking with the other one to make sure it looks symmetrical because you guys know. But I'm going to pull that down and just fill in. And I'll make it a little bit wider than it's going to end up looking because we're going to go in with other colors to bring it in. But I like to have that base on there so that when I do that there's a place for it to go. Very rarely does it look exactly the same, but I am going to go over top with um, the teal so that will bring it down a bit. But I'm going to start off filling in and bringing in the spotlight so it's more of a V shape. I'm going to start off with my E25 and Deceased and go in from the side here and start putting some of that blue 
onto the area where I put the base and kind of start forming that V shape where it's more narrow at the bottom than it is at the top. Then I'm going to use the other side of the brush to go into flourishing. Wait. Then I'm going to use the other side of the brush to go into this shimmer that's similar to the flourishing color, but it's a shimmer and it's called Entitled. And that's what I'm going to use to blend right next to the blue to just kind of gradient, gradiate a color into the center here. Oh, this color is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous just kind of overlap those two a bit and I don't bring it up all the way because I want to leave that spotlight area available for the lightest color and then I'll just go back with what I have left on the brush on the other side this is a really good method is just going back and forth with two colors one on one side one on the other and just blending those two together ends up really giving a nice blend. From there I'm going to take this Luxie 245 small shader brush. It's like a pointed flat shader brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Colonin. I don't know if I'm just too blind to read what it says, but it looks like C-U-L-L-I-N-A-N. -L -L and I'm going to get that on both sides of this brush and this is what I'm going to start going down the center with. I'm going to go across my cut crease area, the top of the spotlight, and then pull it down. I'm going to kind of overlap the inner part of that green color and just start brightening that up in the center. And this is where you really go back and forth. You like overlap them, then go back in them with the other color and intensify that color again. So I go back with my brush that has the, the green and the blue. Go over the blue a little bit again. Go over the green a little bit again. So that we just have a gradient of darker going into lighter. I really feel like I'm gonna have to go in and balance these out though and bring the halo up just a smidge on the other eye. And go back over that area with the white. All right, from here I decided that that wasn't nearly fancy enough, so I went ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and really highlight my inner corner with that same color colon colon in. I'm probably butchering in that. I'm probably butchering that. I'm probably butchering that, so don't mind me. And I'm gonna go into the inner area here and brighten that up as well with this color that I don't know why it's called Colonin. And right up underneath my brow bone, very, very lightly and very close. And since this isn't nearly fancy enough, I wanted some glitter. So, I got my NYX glitter glue, put a little bit on my hand, and I'm going to add some more to the other eye too because it's not enough. So I added it to my hand, and then I'm going to take this Bad Habit number 7, tiny little detailer brush, coat it really well with the glue, and go right over where I have the white shade and add some glitter glue. 
And I kind of overlap the green with this as well because I spread it out a little bit. So I gotta go back over here where I added some height and a little bit more along the white just because I'm OCD like that. All right, the glitter that I use, I will list it below where I got it. I might be able to read it. It's glitter, glittermyworld.com. And it comes in these little bitty vials, <laughs> these little jars. And this is a holographic. The shade is called Starstruck Silver. And it's a holographic silver. And it's got blue and green in it. I'm dropping it all over my, uh, the top of this palette. And I'm just going to use a flat detailer brush. This is the Alamar one that I got out of the BoxyCharm, but I'm just going to go into the cap of this and get some off the cap and just add it, press it into the glitter glue. And I'm adding just a little bit more. I didn't feel like it was making enough of an impact. I was trying to be... Can I trust my emotions? Is it the heat of the moment? Reserved, I guess, when I did the first eye. Not feeling like I want to be reserved this time, so I'm going to go across there, right down the center, and overlap the green a little bit with it. Whew. That's some pretty business right there, folks. Pretty business. All right, I'm gonna let that dry really well. And from there, I need to just go across the top. One thing that I did, I'm gonna go across the top with this tiny little detailer brush and the shade. This thing is hard to get open. And the shade flourishing, this green shade and just go right across the top of that so that you can really like darken right above the top of the spotlight so that it's really obvious. I don't know what's on my brush, but that's the top of the cut crease. Since I went above over here, I'm gonna do the same thing over here again. And just kind of around the edges of the top. And from there, take one of the blenders that has all the green shades and very lightly blend that a little bit. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you can see that glitter. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. So I am gonna go. I'm going to use a eyeliner in my waterline called Lagoon by Ofra. Just on my lower waterline. I'm gonna use It Superhero eyeliner and just my regular mascara. So I'm not gonna go into all that because you can use whatever you want to. I'm gonna use MAC Extended Play Get Good Black Lash on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use Climax by NARS on my upper lashes. And I'm going to use for lashes Spellbound by House of Lashes. So I'm gonna go do all that and my face makeup and come back with a final look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this so far, but let's see what I look like when I have my whole face on. I'll be back. All right, folks, my eyes are as even as I can get them, but I think it turned out gorgeous. So this is the final look for you. I am going to back up and we're going to choose a lip. I wanted to show you guys that I just decided I was gonna just stay with the theme today and I pulled out my 
open here for nudes little collection that I won from my friend Amy Ecker so thank you again Amy with all these beautiful nudes and since the eye is so busy and so dramatic I wanted to go for a nude and I've got mannequin and celebrity skin and I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and go in with a nude liner and maybe go on the outer part with celebrity skin and on the inner part with mannequin and just kind of do an ombre thing let me just go ahead and be extra and do the most on everything since my eye is so beautiful and while I'm doing the lippy I will talk to you about the palette I feel like it performed beautifully it all blended out the color was so there and there are so many looks that you can do with this I had a really hard time staying out of that color which is called blue Monday and this color called ocean ice I'm gonna have to play with that because it's like a, a pressed glitter but there are so many avenues that you can go. I think I'm going to try to create an everyday look as well because there's lots of neutrals, peachy neutrals in here and some soft browns that I think a very pretty everyday look could be created from as well. So maybe I'll do that next. But let me find a liner. I do want a bit of a darker liner so that my lips will actually show up. So I am going to first start off trying nude um, by Gerard Cosmetics and I'm going in with that and kind of fill in the corners. Maybe I should scoot up a little bit. Yeah. And then go in with mannequin and celebrity skin. Let's see. Let's see. Can I trust my emotions? All right, I'm going to start off with Celebrity Skin and kind of try to leave the, the middle of my lips open as I go directly onto the middle of my lips. So I suppose I'll be going over top, or not at all. I kind of like the way that it looks on its own. But I'm going to try to put a little smidge of this in the middle and just see if it gives my lips a little bit of a dimension. It's not that much different. So we're just going to leave it at that. Jeffree Star overall. Okay, now I'll back you on up. Let's talk about this palette. I've already pretty much given you an assessment of it. I love it. I knew I would. I've never had a Jeffree Star eyeshadow product that I didn't like. I just really like the formula. I love the pigmentation. I love the finish. I love all of it. And I love the fact that it pushes me outside of my comfort zone, makes me use some color. Doesn't make me, but it inspires me too. As for my face, this is the first time I think I've ever put my face makeup on after my eyes, and I did not like the way it feels. I don't like the way my under eye looks. I don't think that my foundation looks that great. But looking in the viewfinder, it looks okay as far as maybe the lights are making it look better for you guys. But the focus is on the eyes. I'm going to disregard the rest. I'm going to do some uh, fancy poses for you and then I will let you go. But I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed creating it. It's nice to do things a little bit differently, but I do like just kind of being the, the creative artist off camera, creating something and then coming back and showing you how I did it. I, I like that part. So here are my super cheesy beauty YouTuber I look slow-mo poses in three, two, one. Can I trust my emotions? Is it the heat of the moment? Cause my heart just exploded when I saw your face. Cause your eyes held me captive Ooh, I ain't asking for ransom And I'm still not reacting What am I waiting for? Am I afraid? Am I afraid? I wanna talk to you I 
all right guys that's it for me thank you so much for joining me tell me what you think of this look are there any colors in there that you'd really like to see put to use or see in action let me know did you get this palette if you did have you used it yet if you have a video already link it down in the comment section so I can go check you out um, I do plan on probably doing another everyday look with this tomorrow I feel like when I do these really creative looks they are so distinctive that I don't really like to wear them in other videos I like them to kind of be a standalone look so I figure I'll do all my other videos that I have planned for this weekend with a more everyday look so I'm excited to try that palette for an everyday Day look as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you think the look is beautiful. I hope the glitter and all the prettiness shows up on camera for you. But if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care and God bless. Bye guys. which you guys probably already know I'm using the blue blood so before we get into the business of showing you how I created this look please subscribe to my <clears throat> that's all the uh, business now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Jouer hot now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Jouer All right, from there, I am going to take, where is it? I am going to use It Superhero Best. <laughs> I've never had a Jeffree Star uh, eyeshadow pat. That I know about you. Number one's that you got options. Cause any guy will be free falling. Lucky to have you.